Hello and welcome to a new video about my Barbie Eco controller. This time I want to program the handheld device. So the, the thing which is sending the data is, I think this is alright, it will send the data uh, and will provide the data. First thing, if handheld device, I want to use this ESP8266, I think it's called, right? Uh, this ESP device here. Uh, so, and I want to receive it by this NRF stuff here, like like on the other on the other board. So I'm going I'm going to use the correct pins hopefully. So I will use a ground. Go to here. Three to three volts. Provide those also at the at the labels. Okay, I oh, will use it. I will stand here. Yeah, this is now. Uh, this is better. Three. Okay. Then I've noted here a little bit because actually this is this is the the wiring. This is the wiring on the on the nano side. Uh, I have this here, and I will use. It's the same color code here. I will use the same here for this NRF device. So we have, we have a ground and 3 to 3 volt, all right, so we have white, white is 3 to 3, black is ground, good, then blue, the blue line, this is clock, and clock is at D5, this is the general, this 14, D5, so blue is the next one, this is D5, it's here, that's the SPI pins of the of the ESP. You can find it on the internet. Then yellow, yellow was on twelve here. It's twelve, right? This is meso, and it should go to D six. D six, ah, flashing, transferring data. Uh, then we have green one. This is mosi, uh, and this should do D seven. And I will not use the hardware chip select CS. This was nine. Nine was chip select and chip enable was eight. I will use here D3 and D4. Actually, I will plug those here. Three to three and ground. Go in. SPI is a bus, uh, so I should be able, because the issue is, the problem I fear I will have, or hopefully not have, we will see, is uh, I'm going to use this TFT display here. Here's a TFT display, alright, this TFT display is also SPI, so I have to share the SPI interface, which should not be an issue, because actually we are, it's a bus system. Serial peripheral interface. There's a series of video you can watch it and now I want to make it work All right, so this should be the wiring for the inner for this communication device Plugging where is the cable here yeah. plug it in Nothing is getting hot All right all right, so that's the hardware setup. First goal today is that I'm receiving the data from here. That's it. Uh, switch to the computer. So at the computer, I will use my my old test program here because actually I just want to check it. So the test program, I will select here another. Uh, No damn you, I think it's no damn you. Should be sufficient. Uh, SPI. And then here we have not 9 and 10. We have 9. What was on 9? 9 was gray. And gray is now at D4. Uh, D4. And the other one is D3. Hmm. 
I think there's everything I have to change. I think. Now let's upload. Does not look too good. SPI is not featured. Why? <sighs> SPI? Let's see. Unable to resolve platform. Work that way. Probably it is a um, issue with the with the visual micro that uh, something was stuck because I compiled it with the Arduino EDA. So, but I want to have it also compiled in the Visual Studio because I'm pretty sure this is hmm what is happening here What is happening here? All right. I will do it with the Arduino idea. First, because I think this is something with, with coping, uh, coping this behavior. I'm not sure if it's Visual Studio or something like that. Coping those, those libraries inside the code directory. I think that's the issue here. <sighs> Again. Something, something I've learned, or hopefully this is the same code. It's tools, yeah. Want to upload it? Here it's compiling. Here it is compiling. Hopefully it's loading. It starts downloading as well. It's downloading. I should receive something. Touching the temperature sensor. Yes. I'm <laughs> receiving. So it is it is working how it should work, just by changing the Okay, that's that's good to know. What is going on here, huh? So I will make the following. Close project. Yeah, save it, I don't really care. Now, I make a new project. Yeah? I make a new Arduino project. And I call this, I will switch this here to barbecue controller. And I call this barbecue handheld. That's the handheld device. Yeah? Do. Now I switch to Node MCU. Yeah? And now I am adding a library. Is, is, is PI library? Why, why is it not here? I'm not sure. Right? Refresh. After refreshing, I have it here. I will use the SPI library. And now we'll just compile. Now it's working. Okay, good. Yeah, it's working. I will simply copy. This is something to do with the with the uh, with the project structure, I guess. I will simply transfer this code here and I will add the library RF, user install library RF, RF24. Yes. 
What do we need? Only we don't, we don't need this copy, we don't need this. We only need this stuff here. Good. Huh? Then copy these two lines to here. Copy these lines to here. Yeah, I don't really care. And copy these lines. I just copied it now. Well, things are happening. Copy these lines to here. Now it's the same code. Yeah. I will try to upload this. Close this. Now it's the same code. The only thing which is different. The writing. The only thing which is different is that I used a new new project. We're receiving values. Can't can correct me now. I uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. All right. It's working. It's working. It was more work than I expected. So I will put this this temperature serving part. I will put this somewhere to here. Past. Huh? And now I only have to take care about this one. Yeah. Next time I will try. Next time I will try to plug this uh, ESP in here. Ah, uh, ESP. This TFT display. TFT. That's probably TFT display. Next thing which I'm going to do, add DFT display here and try to display just something. This is the first goal, display something, add the DFT display and then display the temperatures and draw lines, red lines and so on. This is why I want to use this color DFT display that we have different lines and that we know which temperature is where. Huh? And I want to have the, the, I want to have the, trend as well. Next video. Next video adding DFT display by SPI to my ESP ESP device. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.